Let's be honest, Hearthstone is on fire right now, and it's all Druid's fault. I am actually very excited to showcase this deck with you all because Druid has been the problem for a while. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel in order to let me know that Druid is just Druid and we're going to showcase another Druid deck but you have no idea how completely fire and how much fun this deck actually is. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of explaining because this combo might be a little bit weird to say the least because i went up against one of my friends named wintrophy wintrophy is someone that plays a lot at top 1000 legend and usually showcases some pretty wacky stuff but this has got to be the most insane wacky deck that i think anybody could come up with because i don't think you guys are ready to figure out how this deck even wins like just go ahead take a look at the list what do you think is going on here we've got a thaddeus we've got a cover artist and what what is this a pyrotechnician how does this deck win? Let's go ahead and jump into it because I'm really excited to showcase what I believe is probably one of the most fun decks to be playing right now if you're not concerned about climbing the ranks. But at the same time, this deck can actually win a couple of games because Druid is just busted right now. So let's dive right in. The whole point of this deck is to play Thaddeus Monstrosity on the even polarity, so that way Thaddeus Monstrosity will discount your cover artists to zero mana, and you can even go as far as to use another cover artist on the Thaddeus, so that way all of your even cards get discounted, and this is very important for, uh, for the concept that I will be explaining here very shortly. But you also have Nightshade Bud in order to pull the Thaddeus from your deck. However, the most crucial card out of all of this is the Pyrotechnician. <laughs> Why is the Pyrotechnician the most important card? Because this is how you get your win conditions. This is how you kill people, is by playing Pyrotechnician, playing a bunch of spells, and then you get spells in your hand, like Fireballs, Pyroblasts, you get a bunch of damage, and you just storm it to the face. So this is an APM combo that requires a lot of skill in order to pilot correctly, and we're gonna have to look over the fire cards to really showcase something for you guys, but one thing that, that's probably being asked a lot, well, Clark, if this is discounting a bunch of even cards, then what happens if my hand gets full with a bunch of odd cards? How am I going to be able to deal with a bunch of odd cards that I can't play? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Because Lifebinder's Gift is a super important card, and it's also even, by the way. It's super important because you have to be able to discount your odd cards, and they will immediately become playable, because that's how Lifebinder's Gift works with Thaddeus. So you get a 5-mana card in your hand, like Jive Insect. That'll be important later. You get Jive Insect, then you can easily play Lifebinder's Gift to discount it to 4, and then the Thaddeus uh, applications will be added, so that way it goes to 0 mana. So the big question here is what fire cards are available in hearthstone for us to actually kill our opponents with because we have cards like explosive trap flame geyser we have molten runes explosive runes volcano mancy fireball fire sail firelands portal pyroblast that's pretty much all damage right there you also have blazing transmutation scolding geyser jam session jive insect I cannot foreshadow this card enough because, holy crap, you guys are just not ready for the combo that's coming up ahead if you haven't checked out the Twitter. We also have Arson Accusation, Hellfire, Immolate, the Warrior Fire cards like Blazing Power, Embers of Strength, Forged in Flames, Jam Session again, Smelt, Fires of Sinazari, which already has meme potential for itself, Bellowing Flames, Light of the Phoenix, Sunfire Smithing, uh, trial by fire and black rock and roll so there are not really that many fire cards so the odds of you getting a damage card are actually pretty astounding all things considered but looking back at the deck the rest of the deck is just trying to draw very quickly ramp mana and then of course you have the frost lotus seedling with solar eclipse in order to sustain and gain a lot of life and just in those situations to where you need a little bit of extra mana you also have funnel cakes but if you discount funnel cakes with the life binders gift then you have a little bit of, uh, of leeway when it comes to mana but this is one of those combos to where you absolutely have to start playing it as soon as possible in order to make sure that your RNG isn't terrible. And something else that I've done with this deck is that there are situations where I have Thaddeus and I have Cover Artist, but I don't have my Pyrotechnician. But you can play Nightshade Bud in order to pull the Pyrotechnician from your deck. There are other situations where you can play Cover Artist on the Pyrotechnician in order to get more spells and play faster because you're getting added two spells in your hand every single time you cast one. But this is just a well-oiled machine that works extremely well. Your use of Lifebinder's Gift has to be the most important thing that you play around because you don't really want to use this card to discount your hand. You usually want to try and save them for when you're doing the combo you at least need 
one of them before you pop off the combo, just in case you get a bunch of odd cards on your even polarity. But that is pretty much the deck in a nutshell. It's Ramp Druid, but with a little bit of a gimmick. You have Anar for healing as well as drawing to the deck. You have Yogg-Saron, obviously, because it's Yogg-Saron. You have Embrace of Nature in order to hit those Lifebinder's Gifts and those Nourishes. But this is not a deck to where you can cut a Lifebinder's Gift like in Ramp Druid because you really do need this card as a discount. So something that I would recommend if you want to learn this deck so go ahead and watch the gameplay video, see how the combo works in action, because I know that I gave a really long explanation on how this works, but when you see it in action, it just makes a lot of sense. This is not a deck you can play on mobile, I don't think, because the animation time, as well as, you know, having to move your finger and, like, really plan all this stuff out, is probably not going to be the best. But if you are an APM gamer like myself, you love playing decks fast, you love just, just, just jamming stuff to the face, then I would highly recommend playing Fire Druid by Wintrophy, because this deck is absolutely hilarious when you pop it off, and I cannot undersell that enough. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates. A huge thank you to all of our patrons over at patreon.com backslash Clark Hellscream. If you want to get your own perks and bonuses for supporting the content, you can get shoutouts on the channel, deck optimization, as well as custom coaching on anything related to Hearthstone. And if you also want to support the channel in other ways, we've got merch available in the description below where we have this shirt as well as a For the Horde shirt in order to support your favorite Hearthstone content creator. But I hope you guys enjoy what is probably the most fire deck in Hearthstone right now. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck intro. We'll see you for the next video. I, I, I cannot do that. All right, I'm going to play a little bit of this, and then I'm just going to switch to Warcraft Rumble, honestly. Just going to switch to the fun game. Because Har Hearthstone's not going to be fun if Druid's, like, everywhere right now. And Druid very much is everywhere right now. All righty, there we go. Just gonna go ahead and throw this out. It might be better to save it for like a keeper strength, but regardless. I just don't see how else we can really utilize the new card except in Rogan and Druid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just go back to playing Earthen Paladin. Get some easy wins and not think too much about it. I wanna go, I wanna go Unga Bunga. <laughs> okay, this is not the list I was playing. Where's Flat Earth? Where's the real Flat Earth? Here it is, real Flat Earth. Alrighty. This, I forgot about the anomaly granting uh, granting attack, That's or granting HP, that's massive. This being a 4-2. I mean, if you disagree, that's fine, dude, but I've literally given you the ex the explanation like three times now. There's, there's really nothing else to be had. You can just quite literally say you disagree and that's it. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Feels a little bit unnecessary to do that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play the Stoneheart King. I gave you the reason why your explanation doesn't fit. Yeah, but I'm saying that I okay I disagree with you. <laughs> like I disagree with you. If they put out the resources, it's absolutely fine. And your justification is people won't read a list of 170 cards. I can I completely disagree. If people want to learn the card, they will learn it. It's better to have the resource and not utilize it versus to not have the resource when people want to utilize it. Argument over. Let's please move on. We can dis we can agree to disagree. That's absolutely fine, dude. Like seriously, we don't we don't need to be arguing about this. Nightshade Bud. Wait, what? Fireworks. I sure hope they do. This one's a tribute. What is going on? Oh my god.
I can't. I can't kill them. I can't even. What? What? Well played. You are a friend to the earthen. <laughs> Wait, Trophy, what the fuck is this deck? I I am I am I am just I, I I have no words. The moment when you need Tim Wexler, yeah, the one time we're playing Pure Paladin would have been the play. Holy God! Complaining about Ram Drew this entire stream, but no one is gonna expect any. They're not gonna expect anything when I talk about Fire Druid. Immediately came into a hunter. Why are there so many hunters today, dude? Are there just literally hunters playing after the new card gets released so they can bully the new card players? That sounds like a very hunter thing to do. All right, well, I guess Nightshade Bud is the most important card. People want to summon their crush at Neptalon? Oh, you you, you sweet child. You think they're playing the new card. I, I wish I had the hope like you did. But they're but they're not. They're not doing that. I would I would love it if they were. I would absolutely love it if they were. But people are not playing the new card. I have I have yet to go up against someone who's playing the new card. And that really does make me sad. I wish there were more people that would that would try the new card at least a little bit, but everyone's tryharding at these ranks, unfortunately. This deck makes me want to try something random, creative stuff at Hearthstone tonight, bro. Just play this deck, like seriously. Um, I took out funnel. I I took I took out the ribbon there for a funnel cake. By me missing something, I uh, didn't see any notification in game about the new card was added. You should have. Because when I logged in, there was an option. Rhythm and Roots? Uh, that's never going to proc in time. I hate to do this, but it's like I don't have a better line. Alright, Yogg is closer to being playable. This into this just doesn't even help. How is it that this deck high rolled the fuck out of me? What card is it? It's a Thunder Horse card. I forget exactly what the name is, but it's like, th I think it's th uh, Thunder, Thunder Strider or something like that. Thunder Strider, and it pretty much is a 8 mana 6-6 six, six that, yes, Death Rattle summon a beast and an elemental from your deck. So if you log into the game, you should automatically have it in your collection. Dude, it is turn 4, and this guy is a 7-4 and a 4-4, four, four, and I just killed two four ones ones last turn. Do I have the mana to play Yogg? Spend 2 mana, get the 2 mana back. I actually do have the mana to, to get Yogg. Please just clear the board. Ah, oh, I hate these non games at times, man. Just don't kill the Yogg. This is abysmal, dude. This is abysmal. Holy God. I love Hearthstone at times, but dude. This is the worst experience that I could have right now, is literally drawing nothing. Like, I, I, haven't, I haven't drawn anything. I legitimately have not drawn anything. If I get a and I'm just going to immediately rip it for draw cards, but at this point, I'm going to end up dying before I get to that point. Okay, I got draw cards. Let's go, but it's going to be cat tricks, so what can I do? 
It is cat trick, because why wouldn't it be? Do this. Maybe I get the nightshade bud and get lucky. Okay. Never nourish, uh, run, always painful. Yeah, I never, I never get the embrace of nature, dude. That's the whole reason why I stopped playing Druid. It's because all I would do is queue into Druid mirrors, and it all came down to whoever, whoever forges the embrace first. And that's just not the way I want to play Hearthstone. I really want to make a Rivendare work, uh, but I just don't know how and or in which class. Uh, Priest. There's a Rivendare Priest that would be exactly what you're looking for. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this is about to work. Okay. All right. Okay. Like, as much as I could have gone for Thaddeus, like, going for Thaddeus didn't actually accomplish anything. Like, I need to be able to draw the cards from my deck, and now the mommy can draw the cards for me. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on. What the fuck? Arcane Hunter doesn't play this anymore. At least in the list that I see, they don't play this. Okay, Altered Chord. Okay, uh, I don't even know what polarity Thaddeus is on. But if it's on odd polarity, I could technically start high rolling here. But I guess I, guess I need it to be on even, though. Yeah, so I just have to play the Blossom, and then I just, I, oh my god, dude. What is even happening? This Hunter's just doing everything I despise. Playing stats and not having to worry about AoEs. Wait. I was about to say, please just don't draw the Pyrotechnician. Wait, but I have a high roll next turn. I just need to draw um, even cards. This literally doesn't do anything. But this is on odd. Wait a minute. No, this is on odd. I'm not going to get the value out of it. I have to wait another turn to do this. And if he just has like all this damage, then I'm not dying. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm still dead on board. Against a priest, I can totally do this. Against a priest, I could totally do this kind of combo. I would send you clips, but I'm too lazy to record the games. You're not helping! <laughs> Just do it, man, or get one of those applications that records the last five minutes from your uh from your last play session. Cause honestly, like that that's what I think is like the best. Like NVIDIA uh, instant replay. Where like you don't even have to like record, but if you have something that happens to you in the moment then you can just, like, you know, save the last five minutes of gameplay. Because I used to use that. But every now and again, like, five minutes wasn't good enough, so I just started recording. Okay. So he's got he's got wild growth now, I guess. 
That'd probably be the best card here. He might be looking at the pyrotechnician being like, what the fuck's going on? What do you mean? We love Hunter. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. And there be the nourish. Var be the nourish. Alrighty. If something that doesn't take that much space, let's say that my uh, notebook memory is small. That's fair. I, I think NVIDIA Instant Replay is a very small application. Like, it just comes with having the NVIDIA program, which I don't think is that big. But my my computers have always just come with it because I usually get NVIDIA products. It's like a like a, a taskbar or something that I can utilize. Yo, what's going on, Righteous Jammy? You're right, Clark. Five, uh... Five minutes isn't good enough. We have to go longer. Yes. The longest. Wife as a hag. Like there's nothing to lose, but a man has needs, and that need is booze. That need is definitely booze. I want to go with Convoke for randomness, but I would have to commit it next turn. Oh, that's sad. I guess I'll just summon two- I'll just summon two twos then. Alright, I can't- I guess I- I shouldn't be playing too many spells, right? Because the only reason why I did so well last time is because I had double te uh, technician. You want to, uh, uh, you want to avoid, uh, to add minions like Control Warrior on purpose for eight mana spell, right? I mean, for this one, yeah. You don't want too many minions in the deck, and that's why I'm thinning out the deck and choosing the cover artist. Please type the ad name in chat. Uh, it's- let me see. NVIDIA. God damn it. Computer. NVIDIA. Instant replay. Okay, it's NVIDIA GeForce Instant Replay. I'm not sure exactly how you find it. But if you Google this, you should be able to find some options for it. Alright, randomness ensue. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm gonna have to get rid of a card here. I still have enough mana to play this. It looks like an Innervate or another Funnel Cake. Okay. Alright, I think we've got this next turn. My hand is too and, like, the thing I'm just now realizing about the Life Binders gift, because you're discounting all of your cards by 8, if you have a bunch of cards that you want to play, the Life Binders gift will actually discount things, so that way if it's odd, it becomes even and then gets the discount. That works. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it, Spectator. I understand what you, I understand what you mean. Like, this is just the way to be able to pop off the combo without getting to 10 mana and without having the Thaddeus. I'm sure your English is better than Clark's. Bro, I used to be an English aficionado. Aficionado, however you pronounce it. I, I used to have, like, the best grammar around. But then I stopped keeping up with it and I just forgot things. Because I'm a very forgetful person. Alright, so we're, we're going to we're gonna have to start shooting, though. We're just going to start firing. Hopefully I can find Funnel Cakes. Wait, but Funnel Cakes actually wouldn't work without this discounting them. But, I mean, okay. I'll, I'll have to get some value here. If I got the other cover artist, that's also kind of good. It's almost lethal. Oh my god, come on. 
I literally need one damage. Ah! <laughs> no! My hand is too I was so close! I was so close! Oh my god, this is way more consistent than I thought it would be! I mean, this guy's gotta concede. He's gotta concede in order in order to respect me, bro. There's no coming back from this. There's absolutely no coming back from this kind of game, dude. And now I can just play Fire of Shinazari and just let the let the heart of the cards take over. I mean, if he plays Whirlpool, he's dead, though. Wait, actually, no. Wait, Whirlpool would cost six. He has three mana left over. Are we good? Are we good? He just literally lost. <laughs> Guess a Death Knight, I think I want to just keep all of this. I have Ramp. I have the Nourish. I have removal and I have card draw. So if I can find the, the solar eclipse, I should be okay. Is this blood DK? This is blood DK, dude. Alrighty. But yeah, I'll be I'll be playing some rumble today. I've been playing a lot of it in my spare time. To like really learn the game. And I feel like I've I've learned the game a lot now. It's just a matter of um It's just a matter of being able to justify it. Show that I know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna leave the rat alone. No reason to enact with it. Whoa! I have not played Twist at all in this format. I I have not um I have not played Twist at all, and it's not because I don't want to, quote unquote. It's just because I have other things to be focusing on. That is probably just better for the content in general. My blood. Okay, Hematurge, sure. Just going for a one-one. Damn, bro. This guy's just hitting me in the face, and he does not care. I think I might want to play Planted Evidence here. Another Lunar Eclipse? Oh, wait, that actually kind of works. Knock this out, ramp even more. Alright. Nightshade Bud for Thaddeus could be okay, but it's not going to be the play right now because I need more draws. Hopefully I top deck Solar Eclipse for this. New Amazon Prime Hearthstone rewards are, are three standard packs. Only three standard packs? Like nothing else? Only three? Ah. Oh, ah. Oh. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got we got we got cards. I I got I got cards. I got I got I got some cards. Okay, here we go. I got some cards. These, these they're not, they're good cards. They're pretty they're pretty good cards. Pretty good cards that we got here. You're going to BlizzCon? I'm so jealous. Yes, I am. I am super excited to say the least. Uh, hold on a minute. Is there a way that I can kill this? I've got Drain Soul. Deal three to a random enemy. Okay, so here's an idea. You know, why did I do it this way? I should have saved two mana so I could just hit this with my hero power. I'm actually an idiot. <laughs> now I have to, yeah, now I have to do it this way. Who knows, maybe, maybe I get lucky. I should have waited. I, 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 my, my order is all over the place right now. My order is all over the place, lul. But at least I have damage. I can do this into this, gain life back. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Can I stow away in your luggage? Maybe. Maybe. If you if you pay for my flight, how about that? You pay for the flight, I'll take care of the hotel, bro. It'll 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 all be it'll all be fair at the end of the day. Next to me? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to have two stowaways in my bags. <laughs> There's room for both of us. You haven't seen my suitcase though. Alright. Um get lucky. I immediately roll into solar eclipse. Typical. But at least I got this mage secret that'll kind of dis uh, disincentivize him from doing a play he wants to make. I need to draw my minions, dude. I need to draw my minions. Like, I don't have aquatic farm. I, 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 I think I might need to draw Anar, honestly. Oh man. Alright, smart gamer. Blizzard might catch us. 
Airport security check and be like, what the fuck? Nah, dude, I, I, I saw this meme earlier today, but I've seen it before. But it was something along the lines of, um, there, there was a questionnaire that was like, are you a terrorist? And it's like, the options were, I want to make my flight on time, press yes to see what happens. And I definitely kind of just giggled on that one. Okay, I need both of these minions, dude. I need both of these minions. I might need to go up Pyrotechnic, but it's just like... Maybe I go with this and just draw another card? Both these minions being at the bottom is really bad, though. Um... I mean, I could go up Pyrotechnician just so that way when I draw Cover Artist, I could start the combo. I think I have to do it this way. It's like, I can't even do anything. And the other issue with having the minion in my hand is that if Patchwork gets played, I can't play around it. So Blood DK is just gonna, just gonna smack me. Maybe I do this for the a and and just draw a bunch of cards. You know, I think I'm gonna do that. Alright, not bad. That That's a pretty good outcome. That's a pretty decent outcome. Alright, so odd turn. Thaddeus will be on even polarity. If I top deck Thaddeus, I can start it. Okay. Oh! My grip tightens. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? Are you... You gotta be joking. You... <laughs> Soul Seeker. Soul Seeker. It's Soul Seeker that he plays. I mean, I have to let the minion live. I, I need the other... The other cover artist, though. There's no way I'm going to be able to draw to the bottom of my deck. Wow, dude. Yeah, and it's, and it's also on the wrong polarity. About as bad as it could have gone. Maybe I have to, like, do random Yogg shenanigans to get out of this. Jesus Christ, dude. I can't believe a Soul Seeker player is actually getting rewarded for this. Okay, let's let's see what we can come up with. No draw cards in here, are there? I mean, I got three Pyroblasts in my hand, and I can actually play Lifebinder's Gift and discount um, not only the Pyroblast, but the Solar Eclipse that I have. I could still win this game, dude. I could still win this game. Getting the three Pyroblasts was actually kind of insane. It's sad that I couldn't do more here, but this is still sticky. And now I still have, like, Yogg shenanigans as well. I think we're fine, actually. I really want to try and find a draw card, but I don't think there's a fire card that like draws. I mean, there was this, but I didn't I didn't find it in time. Okay. So I pyroblast hit him in the face. And now I've got 24 damage next turn. 
Now I've got 24 damage, and I can I can catch him off guard with this, too. He needs to have uh, Vampiric Blood. Oh, oh wait, he takes more damage. Wait a minute, so now it's it's lethal even with Vampiric Blood. Yeah, I mean, I, I got this, at, like, as my last card, though. I, I wouldn't have had time to go for the combo, because, like, if I would have gotten the other one, then it would have been fine. It looks like it's still GG, though. The guy literally soul sneakered my minion. Literally stole it from me. And it still wasn't good enough. <laughs> GG, bro. GG. Oh my god. Fire Druid is actually good. Even Blood DK Disruption with Soul Seeker going all in is still not good enough.